Is it a rabbit or is it a duck? Things aren't always what they seem at first look. It's the same when it comes to the economic forecast. One source may offer confident analysis that things are one way, while another may be just as confident that they aren't. It's enough to make you hopping mad or convince you everyone's a quack. But the bottom line is one perspective is never enough. So with 2020 upon us, we're taking a 2020 look at the economy, the markets, and market volatility from a variety of perspectives. We're in the longest economic expansion since the birth of the nation. Things look pretty good, but it's also one of the slowest. The Federal Reserve estimates that in 2020, US GDP growth will be at 2%. This is less than, but not by much, the 2.3% average growth we've had throughout the duration of this expansion. If you're focused on that 2.3%, 2% feels like a disappointment, but in the bigger picture, it's just a variation of the norm. We see this as a sign that the economy is equally digesting both positive and negative data. The 70% of the domestic economy bolstered by the American consumer is still strong, but businesses are wary and weary of the trade dispute with China and a weakening Eurozone. We think the US economy in 2020 will continue muddling along at just the right pace, not too fast and not too slow, given these current conditions. Being in the longest bull market in our history sounds great on paper, and we'll take it. But for much of 2019, it wasn't a rising equities market so much as a sideways one, with stock prices staying in a tight range. We frankly expected more volatility throughout the year, given all that was happening on the world stage. That volatility finally showed up in the fourth quarter, and is likely to continue into 2020 with a number of contributing factors. With the Eurozone dealing with Brexit and a potential recession in Germany, that on-again, off-again trade dispute with China, and the impending U.S. election, there's plenty of uncertainty to keep the markets guessing and reacting. With a trade war resolution and a dovish Fed already baked in the stock prices, we don't see a lot of room for equities to make sharp advances forward and as such are predicting below average market returns. But if we zoom out for a moment, it's not all bad news. Remember how consumers support 70% of the U.S. economy? Household debt to disposable income levels are at 40-year lows. Also, low interest rates and tame inflation are supportive to stock prices. And maybe the best news is that even in a year of slower global growth, trade disruptions, and increasing market volatility, your financial professional can help you put things into perspective, take advantage of the potential opportunities all these events may present, and help you chart a clearer path for the future. To learn more about our forecast for the year ahead, download the Satara Investment Management 2020 Outlook today.